and girls of every age. Wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see. This is our town of Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Pumpkin scream in the dead of night. This is Halloween. Everybody never seen. Trick or treat. The neighbors gonna cry of fright. It's our town. Everybody scream. This town. The Nightmare Before Christmas was by far one of the staple movies of my childhood. It's pretty much ingrained in me at this point, and I was watching it since I was in the womb, literally, not exaggerating whatsoever. It's a movie that I still enjoy to this day, and that I even watch around the holiday season. But it wasn't until I was an adult that I realized that the movie holds some deeper meaning and symbolism behind it. And in this video, that's what I want to discuss today. So before we get into it, just want to say welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys enjoy this video and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, on to the video. So what if I told you that Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas is more than just a whimsical holiday tale, but rather it's an allegory for everyday life, capturing the struggles, the dreams, and the journey of self-discovery that we all experience. You see, throughout this movie, we follow our main character, Jack Skellington, otherwise known as the Pumpkin King. He's the embodiment of success in his community, revered and respected. But despite his accomplishments, Jack feels an emptiness, a yearning for something more. And it's through this yearning that he wanders into the forest, searching for something, anything that can reignite the fire within. And it's here that he discovers a mysterious door with a tree on it. Now he discovers a bunch of doors, but something about this door stands out more to him. So he opens the door and he goes inside. This moment of discovery represents our innate curiosity and desire for change. You see, like Jack, we as human beings often seek new experiences, hoping they will fill the void within us. Christmas Town symbolizes that elusive something more that we all chase. A new job, a new hobby, new video game, a new movie, a new location to live in, and yes, sometimes even a new relationship. Jack enters Christmas Town and he has no idea what everything is, but everything is just far different than what he's used to. He's used to the doom and gloom of Halloween Town, and over here, everything's bright and cheerful. There's snow, which he doesn't seem to have seen before. Everything is kind of the polar opposite of what he's used to in his life in Halloween Town. So Jack, being enamored by everything that he sees, enthusiastically dives head first without fully realizing what he's getting himself into or rather where he's even at. And this can mirror our own journey in life. When we dive head first into new things, new experiences without truly understanding them, we can find ourselves overwhelmed and even misguided. Jack's attempt to take over Christmas mirrors our own struggles when we try to force ourselves into roles that really don't fit us. Throughout the course of the movie, Jack is essentially trying to steal Christmas. He's trying to take Santa's place and do what he does because he's tired of his mundane life. Yes, Halloween for Jack is essentially his 9 to 5 job. He wakes up every day, goes to the same place, does the same thing day in, day out, day in, day out, rinse and repeat for years or for him probably an eternity. And this resonated with me when I became an adult because as a kid, I didn't experience this. As a child, you know, we don't we don't really work a job. We go to school, yeah, which I guess is similar, but we don't really work a job. We don't really have to get up and do something that we truly despise every single day simply because we just have to. And it's now as an adult that I understand how Jack feels. I understand what he means, especially when he sings his song, Jack's Lament. He tells the story about how he's a king who tires of his crown and that he'd probably give it all up first chance he got. And that's exactly what he tries to do in this movie. Chaos ensues when Jack imposes his Halloween sphere onto Christmas. This reflects how our personal missteps can affect those around it. It's a reminder that change, while necessary, must be approached with respect and understanding. Jack's journey of self-discovery reaches its peak when he realizes that he doesn't need to be someone else to find fulfillment. He learns to appreciate his own identity and the value he brings to his own community. In our lives, this translates to self-acceptance. We all have unique talents and contributions. True fulfillment comes not from becoming someone else, but from recognizing and embracing who we truly are. Jack throughout this entire movie was trying to fill the role of Santa when he was never Santa to begin with. He was Jack Skellington. He was the Pumpkin King. And despite how tired of his job, how tired of his purpose he was, 
at the end of the day, he was trying to fill shoes that weren't Peyton's. The movie ends and Jack comes to the realization that he is the Pumpkin King and he reinvigorates his feelings for Halloween and I guess decides to be the Pumpkin King once again. This is the only part of the movie where, well, I feel the message is lost and, you know, the movie magic or whatever you want to call it kind of gets interjected. You see, if he just goes back to just being who he was, then that doesn't really solve his issue in the beginning. Jack is tired of being the Pumpkin King. That's just a fact at this point. Just like you looking at the screen may be tired of your nine to five job. It may have been a career that you initially wanted to do, but when you do something day in, day out for years and years on end, it can become stale to you when it's the same thing over and over. And believe me, I know exactly how you feel if you do feel that way. Just like in this movie, I understand where Jack is coming. I understand those feelings of living a mundane life day in and day out, seeing no hope for anything different and just wanting to be something else. Ultimately, Nightmare Before Christmas teaches us that the journey to self-discovery is fraught with challenge, but it's also incredibly rewarding. By understanding and accepting ourselves, we can find happiness and purpose in our everyday lives. So, so the next time you watch this classic, remember, it's not just a spooky tale. It's a reflection of our own journeys, our own nightmares, and even our own Christmases. So yes, The Nightmare Before Christmas is an allegory for everyday life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you gained some insight from it. And I hope if you like The Nightmare Before Christmas, you're able to view it in a new light now. If you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe. I'm a really small channel, so I would appreciate it. It'll help me grow and reach more people. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.